So in phase one, it was a lot of very, very small groups. Positionally, we divided up. Um, we split up the sessions into an offensive and a defensive session, so we only had about half the guys out on the field at a time. Um, we've got about 40 total guys on campus right now, so basically it was a lot of, of footwork drills, individual drills, conditioning drills. We had to get them, you know, honestly, we had a lot of guys that didn't didn't come in in the greatest shape in the world, but we corrected that in phase one, and now I think we're, in, we're all in pretty good shape right now. Phase two right now, we're able to get everybody on the field, which is really nice. Um, it feels more like a team environment, feels like more like a football practice. Practice. and we're able to do use equipment so we're able to get balls involved and we're also able to combine some of the smaller groups like for example our wide receivers our quarterbacks our running backs were, were combined into a group today so they got a chance to throw and catch and and do some more stuff together um, defense has still stayed in their small positional groups for now but we're, we're hopeful that you know once we get through phase two and into phase three we can start doing some more you know um, all team activities where the defense is, is walking through stuff, the offense is walking through stuff. So it's a slow process, but it's been good. I, our guys have responded really, really well to it. So it's not as much team related as it is individual. So, you know, for example, I'm coaching the running backs and for them, it's it's all about getting their feet underneath them. It's all about understanding ball security, um, catching a football again, which they probably haven't done in a long time. It's getting them reacclimated to the game of football. So it's been really good, you know, for the offensive line, stance, kick, steps, um, you know, base, all those things, um, the fundamentals of football, and that's what they're getting in, reinstilled in them right now. So it, in essence, it's kind of been a blessing in disguise because sometimes these are the things we skip or, or we, we don't skip, we go over them maybe more quickly. So it's really focusing our players and our coaches on the basics and the fundamentals. It's uh, mostly first years and sophomores, a couple of um, juniors and seniors sprinkled in there here and there, but it's, it's a very talented group. We're really excited about our younger guys and and what they're going to bring to the program some of them have already made an impact at certain positions and you know some of our first years that we brought in um, you probably noticed we're, we're a bigger team now we've got some size on both sides of the line so we're really excited about those younger guys and, and what they're going to bring to our football team and and as we climb you know the ranks of the NCAC we're uh, we're excited to get to work with these younger guys and get them to speed